Hi everyone, uh, Dina here from Jambaya Designs. Today's little video is a Photoshop tutorial on how to remove spaces from photographs that you don't want. This is my the photograph at the start. There we go. And you can see it's quite a big space down the centre between the two herons that are flying along. What I wanted to do was to get rid of that space and then make my herons just a little bit bigger in relation to each other. So, hope you enjoy the tutorial. If you have any comments, leave them in the set box below. If you've got any questions, put them in the box below and I'll see what I can do. Thank you for watching. See you next time. So, first of all, open your Photoshop Touch, which is the iPad app for Photoshop. Keep the screen clean because you can see all the dirty smears on it. Starting a new project, so you click the Add button and just OK the canvas size, don't worry about your new canvas size yet. I'm going to add a photograph, so I'm clicking that top left hand button that's the picture, add picture camera roll where my photographs are. Click the heron, click add, and there's my herons on the canvas, all done. Now, because my iPad crashes quite frequently, I found that if I save my project at this point in time, it stops it crashing quite so often. So I've saved it and now I'm just going back and opening it up again. But clicking that arrow, the plus sign at the top right, select the picture and now I can resize it, stretch it out just to fill the canvas. And click OK when you're happy with it and there you go. Right, I've slowed down the video because I couldn't speak fast enough to keep up, which will surprise some of my friends, I'm sure. What I'm doing now is that I'm adding a duplicate layer. So I click the Add button in the top right, where all the layers are identified and where you've controlled them from. Click Duplicate Layer, and there it is. The layer with the white box around it is the active layer. That's the layer we're working on at the moment. So now I'm going to select one of my herons and cut it out. Now the left-hand panel has got a square highlighted. That's my select tool, so I'm just going to click on my screen, drag that square around my heron. That heron is selected and I want to extract it from the background. So you go into the pencil tool, which is your edit tool, and near the bottom it says extract. Click on that and it gets rid of the rest of the picture and leaves you with the heron that you want. Now the other heron is Oh, sorry, I'm going into that little box there and deselecting, just because it, that selection is still active. Now I'm going into my other layer with the picture that I haven't altered yet. Click the little circle in the top left-hand corner to make it active so you can see it. Selecting this heron again, using that square select tool. Edit, extract. And then I've got the, that heron on its own as well. That little, I don't know what that box is called, it's like another edit function, deselect. Now if I click all the circles, all my layers are visible so I can see both herons as they would appear on a picture. I need to fill in the background with the same colour. This picture is quite easy because the sky was such a uniform colour, I didn't have to worry about matching it up or um, doing anything fancy. First of all, I'm just making them slightly larger. So I click that add. It's like a compass sign with the arrows going up and down, left and right. That selects whatever's on the page. So I've highlighted my top layer, press that add button to select it, and now I'm resizing it using these circles at the corners. And now my herons are much closer together. I'm just going to move them around. I'm just dragging them with the stylus so I can get them where I want them. So they look nice. And when I'm happy with that, I just click the tick, the blue tick that you can see highlighted at the bottom of the screen. I'm still just looking at it and moving them around until I'm happy. There we go. I'm happy, so I click that plus button. And it's saved. I've still got three layers open on the right hand side. The bottom one is blank and then the two others 
I've got herons on. I want to fill in the background colour the same colour as the sky around the herons and to do that I'll use that bottom layer and I'll add colour to that. And I'm going to pick up the colour from the sky around the herons to get an exact match. So I'll just show you what happens. I'll, on this one I'm going to fill in that top layer and it's completely blocked out all my herons. I do not want that. That is not what we want to see. So I press the cross. If it all goes wrong, I press that cross and say, no, thank you. Don't want that. I'm just showing you the colour combinations you can get on there, but we don't want that anyway. And you can see I've lost that top layer. The herons blanked out, so we'll undo it. And the herons are back. I'm going to colour in the base layer to the colours behind the herons. So click the AND button, fill and stroke. And if you click the white circle where the colour is, there's a colour dropper. Click and drag that to the colour you want. There. And it'll fill it all in for you. Magic. Click the accept button and there you go. The gap has gone from my herons, my herons are resized and it looks a better picture. I'm just checking I'm happy with that. Now the magic of Photoshop is I'm going to save this project as it is but I'm not merging those layers so if I want to do anything else to them I can come back and they're exactly as they are now. But when I save it, it'll save it as a pictures you see there on the screen. So I can export that picture into photos and do what I want with it. So there we go, I'm going, clicking the back button, click save. Okay, it's going very slowly because I have slowed this video down so I can keep up with it. It saves a little bit faster than this in real life. And there's my picture. I just did picture there. So, export button, there's one with the arrow on it. Add to the camera roll. Click the one pictures you want to add to camera roll. There's only the one there, so accept it, okay it. And there it's gone. It's gone to the camera. I hope this video tutorial was of use to you. If it was, please subscribe. If you want any other help with your Photoshop tutorials, Photoshop Touch, just put the questions in the box below. Thank you for watching. See you next time.